Hey YouTube, how's it going? God, it must be Christmas or something. Two videos in a row. This video is for another customization app. Um, this app is called Multicon Widget. It's actually a, a widget slash app, uh, whatever you want to call it. So let's jump right into it. Let's go to the home screen here. And what you're going to do is, again, long press. Go to widgets and look for multicon. Here we go. And for some reason, I don't know if this is something the developer's working on or it just plans to leave it this way, but it only does one row, or I'm sorry, one column, and then it does either one column by one row one column by two rows or three or four rows um, so not sure why the choice to go that route is but anyhow um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do one row one column by two rows and you can see this uh, little group of icons pops up so if you tap on that it takes you into the uh, multi-con configuration screen and you can actually increase how many rows of icons and how many columns of icons you're going to be jamming into this area. Um, the more you squeeze into there, the smaller the icons are going to be. Um, for the sake of saving time on this video, I'm just going to do two real quick. So if you tap on one of the icons, of course it brings up your apps. You can also do shortcuts. Um, and the shortcuts it lets you do are, you know, direct dial a contact, direct message, um, you could do Dropbox folders, go back, um, you can do folder organizer items if you want to do the custom icon that you've placed on an app. If you don't care that it uses a stock icon, you can just pick the app here. Or if you go to other, it gives you some options to do some toggles as well. Um, not many options like something like Widgetoid would give you, but nevertheless, a few there still. And uh, edit mode lets you edit the um, widget once you've created it. Otherwise, if you don't put that on there um, and you want to edit the widget, you'll just have to trash it and make a new one. So, up to you if you want to put that on there. Or you can just have a blank spot. Um, so, I'm just going to pick two apps real quick. Uh, let's go with Amazon Kindle and Angry Birds. Why not? So, I'm going to press Done. And you can see now, I've got two icons, tiny little icons smashed into an area there. And this is cool. Um, for a layout like the layout that I have on this screen, which I've used in previous videos. Um, and I'm going to use it specifically down here with these little icons that I have at the bottom down here. Uh, this is just a one row by one column spot for each of these icons. I'm going to trash these. But with Multicon, I'm going to long press on there. Widgets. Again go to multicon I'm gonna do just the one by one tap on that I'm gonna leave it two by two and just quickly here select some apps hit done edit and now you can see we can have a bunch of little apps here in the bottom. And if you want, you can fill this whole bottom row with a bunch of icons. So it definitely gives you more bang for your buck in terms of icons on the available real estate on your screen. And just another neat little app to get some unique looking uh, home screens going. So check out Multicon. It's uh, in the marketplace. And... Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them below. Um, 
I said marketplace. I keep saying marketplace. The Android market. Um, yes, yeah, so it's in the market. Again, questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down in the comments section. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll be placing links to the market page as well as, again, links to all these cool icons that I have on this home screen. Uh, that's it for this video. And keep it tuned here for more Android videos in the future. Thanks. Have a good one.